some. Waiting for a good scream. He's <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. I give up. It's been just producing the gross liquid on top. Not really bubbling. I don't know what day we're on now. It has not done well. That day it started rising up. It was going to overflow so I took some out and since then it has never been the same. So I should have just let it overflow instead of taking some out. But I took it out and messed it up. So they are not little happy yeasties anymore. I think I'll just stick with my yeast for now. <laughs> not deal with the sourdough. Riding bikes right now, but look at that. We've got blinds. Johnny hung those. And they'll do, well, I think, the dining room today, which is the playroom. We've been working on a puzzle over here. It's a cool little set of puzzles that we got. Stella's taking a rest. Kitchen's mostly clean. That's her current snack bowl there. And Johnny's been doing origami for her. We have an origami book and she loved it. And uh, part of the short people problems, my bowl here I used for popcorn. I washed it, but I can't reach, so I have to get the step stool. I just left it there for now. These are our last boxes in the house and I think it's mostly just garbage. So I've just got to go through it and throw away things and recycle things. So. This room is good. We have one box in here and it's a box I plan on keeping for now because it's art wall stuff and stuff we've got to go through. I take pictures of the art or I hang it up or both. But the shelves are looking much better. I've got all the Legos in, actually all the Legos in the pink bins there. Coloring books and things fit in that one. Other things around. I was trying to keep the top cleaned off but when I find other things, I go ahead and stick them up here. So I found like these books in the house she was playing with. So this is our bucket of randomness. And then I've got to organize her reading books, learn to read stuff. We've been working through this workbook. We've had this one for a while and she's done a lot of the pages on it, but we're now going like page by page to make sure we're finishing all the pages before we get the kindergarten one. So we work on that every day and we've pulled out another set of these. I've shown these quite a bit. There's stickers everywhere. Um, the different colors are the different levels. So I think you start with yellow, which is preschool and it goes all the way up to third grade, which is the blue ones. So we are working our way through the blue ones now. She does 10 cards a day, which is 20 words. And I've had her make them into lists and now I don't know where her 
last list was that she just finished. But here are some. This is one from yesterday. So she writes the word. We say the word a couple of times. And sometimes she can sound them out. Not always. But she knows words like nothing, never. So we're just doing that. And we're learning different grammar things. And I don't know where her other list was. But we've been doing that the last couple of days. And she's really like that. And we've got this from Learning Resources. She's blasted through these, these three letter words. She can do these with, without even thinking. That's the kind of thing she was doing in Montessori. I swear I just heard Stella squeak. Anyway, so she's going through the words with me. She's been reading Cat in the Hat, Green Eggs and Ham, One Fish, Two Fish, like on repeat the last week. And I told her today we're pulling out some different books because I'm sick of hearing them. But the blinds just look so good. He did such a good job. And I have them closed right now just because it was pretty bright. Oh, there's her list. This is the one she did today. Super good. She's really working hard. We've also been doing some math problems, but not as often. She doesn't seem as interested. And we were looking through there trying to find gloves because she's been riding her bike. She'd been riding the balance bike with out uh, pedals on it. And now we put the pedals on a couple days ago and she's been riding that. So she's been doing good. They're outside practicing that right now. She's blasting through, but her hands got sore. She got a blister on one of them. So we pulled out some gloves for that. No, that's it. So I got my drink and I already have dinner prepped for today. We're going to do salad and meatball subs for dinner, which will be great. She's just screaming. fast if you want. No, no. no, you're just rolling it? Okay. She's going to roll her thing over here. Oh Boom. Walk by the wall. Walk by the wall. <laughs> so we are vlogging today. I have a lot of other footage you have, have already seen by now. Oh, I almost blocked it. It is officially two weeks in the house. So this is Wednesday, two weeks later. Yeah, I tried so hard. So Stella is playing for a few minutes. I got her breakfast ready. She's having peaches and prunes cereal over there. Livy just had her cereal and I was just doing the normal morning routine. I'm loading this. Johnny is working from home and we've got dishes from last night. I ended up running out of room, so. Actually, Johnny washed dishes last night, so he ended up running out of room. We finished off the ice cream. We're getting a grocery order today and ice cream is one of the things and we don't have the room, so. We brought in our extra cups, the stuff from last night. I also made a mug cake, and then I had some leftover potatoes. So it's like, oh, I gross leftover dishes. And I've got this to finish unloading, and then that one's gotta eat over there. You'll notice something different. We've been here two weeks, and Johnny got all those hung up last night. So cabinets are open just because I'm, <laughs> I'm working in the kitchen. I'll show you guys. There it goes. <laughs> Ooh, wow, Libby, it made it all the way into this cubby. We've got blinds. Blinds. And blinds in here. I'm blocking this part. And blinds in here. There's all sorts of paperwork on that desk right now. So he saved us about $7,000 hanging them himself. I'm not kidding. They wanted an extra $7,000 from what price I paid for these things. Okay, you gotta find it. Sorry, she's talking over me. Um, he hung up 17 of them all together and we got them for way cheaper than they would have charged us for each blind and then we didn't have to pay installation. So he saved us $7,000 and this bad boy is going goodbye today. Our new high chair. You like that one the other day. <laughs> you get it all over your face. Would you like to yummy. Like sauce? Can we try to go outside? We will in a little while. I gotta give her some food first. And Can I spell it in her? Can I spell it in you? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Not that. Yeah. Well, Daddy's working, sweet. Let's take a picture. Who's a happy baby? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. She made a little mess. She sneezed while she had food in her mouth, so it went everywhere. But she loved it, didn't you? <laughs> you did. You loved it so much. <laughs> and I just told, didn't I just tell you that we need to cut her nails today, huh? Yeah. And then she scratched herself on the nose this morning. You got yourself. You did. You scratched it so good. <laughs> and she ate every bite. She I likes that one a lot. Yum, yum. So we're going to clean this mess up. And Libby's got the, what are these, the Bob book set number two? Yeah. Yeah, they're super duper easy, though. I don't I'm ready for kindergarten. Yeah, she's ready for kindergarten. <laughs> I, I registered her this last week for kindergarten coming up in the fall. Oh, my goodness. It was a moment. So. All right, let's get this girl cleaned up. Libby is reading to Stella. She's playing over there. I wanted to do a tiny high chair review. We've had this now for um, almost a week. I think it arrived right as I stopped the last actual official vlog that went up. I really like it. It's an easy clean wipe down. This is like a, a foamy material and I love the color. You guys know I have office chairs that match this. They also have it in gray. So I first saw it in gray, thought I was going to get that and realized they had this color. So I ended up getting the really pretty color. I love it so much. I also like this. This is something I did not realize when Libby needed one. This part comes off so you can easily wash the top part and you don't have to wash the whole big bulky thing, which is awesome. It just makes cleanup a breeze. And also the bandana bibs are super cute. We got a bunch of these ones from the woman who gave us a bunch of hand-me-down clothes. So far, Stella's top favorites are mango, cucumber, broccoli. I steam it in the Instant Pot and make it super mushy. Basically, it's falling apart. She just loves the broccoli. She'll finish off like a whole stalk of broccoli, which is a lot. She's just starting eating. And also the prune and peach. She has that if she hasn't gone in a while. And then also the carrot. Eh. The carrot oatmeal. It just makes carrot puree in. She likes that so far. But so far she doesn't like steamed carrots. I steamed some and she hasn't liked those yet. But everything she's liked, it really has to do with timing. Like I have to feed her within about 30 minutes after she has her milk or she's too tired and she does not want to eat. And if I feed her too soon after she wakes up, she also is like too cranky, doesn't want to eat. So I set a timer and we go by the timer now and it seems to be working out. She'll at least try a few bites of everything, which is what I want. I don't really feel like she needs to eat a bunch. That was like a tablespoon in there. She ate the whole thing this time. And it's clean, so I've got to go pick up groceries. Stella is down for a nap and Libby is watching Land Before Time. I just got to deal with a couple of things in the kitchen and then it'll be pretty much cleaned up. So I went to go start trying to sew some masks and I do not have like my sewing accessories, like measuring things and tools, cutters, that type of thing. So I found this tutorial for how to make a mask out of a handkerchief. Of course, it's not like the best, but I wanna show you guys before I go. I am gonna just stay in the car. It's a pickup order, but I still wanna show you. So first you get a piece of fabric that's like a handkerchief, fold it in half and make the crease in the center. And then you fold both edges up to that crease. And then you fold it over again. So you're left with like a strip of fabric. And then you get some elastic bands. And this one's kind of tight, but this one's nice and loose. And you put those in here. And these are gonna be your like ear thingies. And then you got that. So that's like your width of your mask, the width over your nose and your mouth. And then you fold these ones in and you can just leave them like that or you can tuck them in together. Just kind of like layer them. And then you put these, these two around your ears. And that is a mask and it's a lot of fabric. No, I'm gonna wear it when I go. So there it is. Cause I'm gonna be out in public and you gotta wear a mask in public. It works. It really pulls the ears, but in a pinch it works. It totally moved my glasses. There you go. I'm super happy to see that. H-E-B.
good. She's good. No. <laughs> she was laughing at that. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it, baby? They're fixing part of the roof. What is it? It's a protein shake kind of a day. If you hear that, they're working on our roof and I have no idea why. We did have a leak over our master, which is that direction. They are working on over the garage, which is that direction. So they inspected our whole roof and found a problem. And he said, he's here to replace shingles. And I don't know what's going on. There are tons of shingles ripped off. He's using power tools now. No idea. So I did talk to the building manager and he said they had inspected the whole roof again after we had a little bit of leak. It was a couple of nail holes through the attic space and it leaked into the master ceiling. So we saw it in the master ceiling. And they inspected the whole thing again and found some problem over our garage. So now they're here doing that. I'm in my swimsuit. <laughs> we had, both girls were ready to go. We had sunscreened up. We were standing in the yard, like Jenny was literally hooking up the hose and they came and they're like, oh, we're here to work on your roof. And so we came inside, Libby was really upset and I need my protein. <laughs> it's not a protein coffee, it's the silk protein. No coffee, but I do have some coffee now so I can make frappuccinos because I'm going to be out of the protein milk soon and I have not been able to get it anywhere. Not that I've been going out a whole lot. Like we've done pickup orders and it's just not been available. So that's been fun. Stella's trying to take a nap and she would be asleep. She was looking asleep, but, but they're doing power tools. So I don't know that we're going to get a really good nap today. I've got something in my teeth. I need to go floss, but Johnny is having a meeting right now. <laughs> like, good luck to you with all this noise going on. Before that, Livia and Stella were screaming. Stella was screaming at the top of her lungs in this room, just playing and making just the loudest noise. And I was like, I don't know how he can work in this environment. I'm about to lose my mind three weeks into this quarantine time. I really need to floss and drink my drink and... Libby's having some quiet time because I told her like we haven't had quiet time. I actually call it independent time. She's out wherever she wants. She just has to go play independently. And I was like, we haven't had independent time. Mommy's losing her mind. <laughs> I need you to have some independent time today. So that's that's the status. Power tools, baby trying to go to sleep, deep breaths, people.